All right, uh, example 2.6. Uh, so back in example 1.7 in uh, chapter 1, in the command window, we did a simple 1D interpolation uh, in the steam tables. Um, and so the scenario was, um, we're provided with this tabulated data of uh, temperature and molar volume. Um, what we'd like to know is the uh, temperature for which we have a molar volume of 0.1, right? That's going to occur somewhere uh, in between these two data points, okay? Um, and so we're going to be doing interpolation a lot, uh, say in our thermal one class. So rather than doing this in the command window every time, it'd be great if we had a script to accomplish it for us. Again, MATLAB has a built-in function in terp one, um, but uh, in the interest of practice, uh, let's go ahead and write a script uh, for 1D interpolation. Okay. So I have these data points written uh, down on a piece of paper, uh, just like when we solved it before. And I'm going to flip back over to example 1.7. Um, where uh, we kind of went through uh, the scenario and then uh, derived the equation uh, for 1D interpolation. Okay, And so I'm going to pause the, the recording, uh, go over to MATLAB, try and keep this equation open, uh, and then solve. Okay, uh, so I'm back over in MATLAB, um, and I have my equation uh, appearing down here on the bottom. And so let's go ahead and write a script to perform 1D interpolation. So write a script. Uh, in the Home tab, um, I'll click New Script to bring up the Editor window, uh, and I'll start with uh, my documentation. So it'll be a script to perform uh, 1D interpolation. Okay, and since in the derivation we kind of had a table uh, that laid out uh, what exactly it was, uh, let's try and uh, draw it for lack of a better word. Okay, and so our scenario will be. Um, we have, say, x1 and y1. This row x2, uh, y2 is missing. And we have data x3 and y3. Okay, great. So in terms of precondition, um, we will have x1, uh, x3, y1, and y3. And hopefully with this little table it's clear what that is. And post condition would be x2 and y2. Okay. And then with that it's just uh, easy peasy. Or no, um, I take it back. We also need um, x1, x2. That's the point I want to interpolate at. And my post condition is just y2, right? So we're not going to be in the whole row. It's just for given x, what is my y? Okay. And so with that, then we can essentially just go in and type up our equation as is. Uh, so y2 is y3 minus y1 divided by x3 minus x1 times x2 minus x1 plus y1. Okay, and I won't suppress the output uh, since I'm interested in knowing what it is. Okay, and I'm going to save this as. Um, so let's call interp in 1D. Okay, cool. So looking back at our table, um, so you want to interpolate with respect to molar volume. So molar volume is essentially my x, where we have the x1 is 0 0.0989. Um, x2, the value we're trying to interpolate at is 0 0.1. x3 is 1.049. Or 0 0.1049. Y1 was equal to 600. Y2 is equal to 650. Okay, and so then we have all of our preconditions set. Okay, and yeah, I went to call this, you know, interp 1D, but I call it intep. <laughs> That's no problem. Intep 1D, right? And I get uh, undefined function or variable uh, y3. Okay, 
right? So what happened was in my assignment, I called that y2, it should have been y3. So if I call intep 1d, right, I get our answer uh, just as before, uh, 609.11 or 1667, okay? Um, it's excellent. So you saw me make a mistake, all right? Um, and then um, it said that, uh, you know, one of my preconditions was y3 and, and I didn't specify uh, y3. And then the last thing uh, before departing is remember the comments at the top will be interpreted as documentation. So if I do doc uh, in tep 1D, right, it brings up all those comments that I had uh, at the beginning. And then the same thing works in terms of help as well. All right. Cool.